Hi there, Ron here from Clustered Networks. Today what I'm going to do is show you how to burn or rip a DVD or Blu-ray disc to an ISO file. And from the ISO file you can create other DVDs or something like that. So I have a music or a video DVD here. It's uh, James Bond, Never Say Never Again, just for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to make a copy of this. And, and the reason why you may want to make a copy is uh, perhaps maybe your house catches on fire and you burn your your uh, DVD collection or perhaps maybe you just want to make it portable so that you can use it without uh, perhaps uh, VPNing back into your home network and grabbing that file and being able to use it rather than physically having an actual CD or DVD or Blu-ray disc whatever it might be so there's a number of reasons why you'd want to create it to an ISO I'm going to show you how easy it is and how simple you can do get this done. I have a blog article as well that's going to describe how to use this. And uh, I'm using a program called DD. And that is actually native on Linux systems, uh, FreeBSD, so Unix type operating systems, and even Mac OS. And you can get a Windows version of it. Uh, however, I've never used the Windows version. So let's take a look at this and how, how we can get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is to put your DVD into the drive. So I think I've got mine in there already. Yes, I've already got it in there. So now I'm going to clear my screen here. I'm going to do LSBLK. Now I'm on a Linux operating system. So here's my video that's starting up. So I see that the DVD does in fact work because I've just dropped it into my uh, DVD player. So LSBLK will show me where my DVD ROM is mounted. And here it is here. It's never say media slash ROM and it's a read only memory. So it's a DVD player and it's 7.5 gigs and it's at the, the dev SRO folder. So what I'm going to do is just use the dd command and I'm going to explain what this does. So I'm going to copy this straight out of my website and I'll go back here to my terminal. I'm going to paste that in. So basically what this does is copies that dev SRO folder and it does a block for block copy. So it'll take the exact copy of the DVD and make an ISO file. And I'm going to place that into my home directory, my RON, my downloads, and it's called James Bond Never Say Never Disk 1.ISO. Now, I didn't have to put the disk 1, but if it was a multi disc um, movies or collection of movies that you may have, you may want to do that. And the, the BS stands for the size of the block and that's recommended at 2048 for DVDs, Blu-rays, uh, CD-ROMs, that kind of thing. And I've also got a status progress that I'm going to run. So that's the entire command that I'm going to use and I'm just going to simply hit enter. Now one thing about, uh, this is actually going to take about 15 minutes or so to rip to an ISO file. So I'm not going to show you the whole thing and sit here and talk about it. But one thing you want to be very careful with, with um, the DD uh, tool, is that you can overwrite your disk very, very easy. So I have that on my blog article there as well. So be very, very careful as to where you're writing to. So the IF is from and the OF is where I'm writing it to. And uh, if I were to put that as my drive, for instance, instead of a file like .iso, it would actually overwrite the whole directory. So yeah, you can, you can do some really serious damage if you don't be careful with what you're doing. So make sure you do it properly and it will work and it works awesome. So I'm going to come back here in a few minutes whenever this is done ripping and show you how it plays. So welcome back. I've uh, finished completing 
creating the ISO file from my DVD movie. So now what I'm going to do is play that movie and see how it works. So as you can see, I just right clicked on the ISO, put it in, it seems to work. I can hit play, play the movie, so I can run it right through my media player onto my TV. Uh, plus I can make, make use of all of the uh, options that are in there as well. Select a different language, English, Spanish, French. So all different kinds of things you can do. It's an exact copy of what your uh, original DVD would have been. So I've got an exact copy. I can rip more DVDs just simply by using a blank DVD and putting it in or just continue to run with this ISO file. So that's how simple it is. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And again, if you like the video, um, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll have a link here to this article that we have on our blog site that shows how you can do this. So again, DD is common in Linux. Um, Unix operating systems like FreeBSD if you use that, or even Apple or Mac. And uh, there is a Windows version. And as mentioned, I'm not sure whether that one works or not, but uh, definitely works good on Linux. Thanks for watching.